Hello everyone. I happen to be in the middle of a video where I'm doing a full detail strip of a Colt Commander, Colt 1911 Commander size. And I just wanted to pause in the middle of this, take a short video here and show you the different parts that make up the gun. I've got this thing taken down and I believe it's completely, I can't find another part to take off of it unless you want to remove the sights or uh, you could take the studs out that hold the grips in place. Uh, I did leave the main spring in place, but other than that, it's fully stripped. So let me just talk you through the components here in case you've got one of these and you got a part you're not sure what's happening with it of course first we've got our slide we've got this one completely disassembled set that aside uh, inside of that goes the firing pin and firing pin spring my spring happens to it seems to go either way but I understand there are some that only go on one way uh, so let me set that aside you've got the extractor which goes into the slide and that has a particular order that it goes in because of the bevel on the back you can tell and also the way that the extractor has to catch the casing and remove that so not too much trouble there also going to set aside here um, your recoil spring which if you've done any field stripping at all you understand these parts quite well uh, and your barrel bushing and your barrel so let me get those kind of out of the way here and show you what we've got rest here that makes up well, there we go we'll get the grips out of the way and the grip screws and now I think what we're down to are the components that made up the frame. Uh, so here we have the frame, of course, uh, and to that now, let's see, we've got uh, a trigger. Uh, that only goes in one way. It's got a slope on the back of it, and there's a certain slot that it slides into in the back, and you'll see once you do have it fully apart and go to put it back together, it's held in place by the mag release, which has a little... Um, you'll recognize the shape of that if you're looking at your gun fully assembled. Um, it's got the spring here. This is what puts it under tension. Uh, and then it has a screw on the end of it with a little bit of a, a lip there. goes into a groove and that's what helps hold it in place. So if you watch my strip uh, disassembly reassembly video, you'll see how that works. Just want to show you how these components work. Of course, your slide stop, you'll have that from your field strip. Um, Let's go ahead and take a look at the main spring inside of the main spring housing here, and it's uh, under pretty good pressure. There's one more pin here I did not remove in this particular video, but it comes straight out from the back of the gun forward, but you do have a lot of pressure there that you need to release before you take that uh, out. And so I, in this video, I've left it together. We've got a leaf spring which sits under that. It's got a little bit of a lip uh, in the top on the third side. It's got a lip on the bottom that actually sits into the frame. There's a certain slot that it goes into and it lays in there, lays over the top of the sear and the disconnect. And you've got your, which, which is for the middle one. You've got your third one here on the right, which is for your beaver tail safety and it sticks out. This uh, leaf spring I understand is tunable. So you want to be real careful. I assume if it's tunable, it could be detunable. Uh, we've got our beaver tail safety. Uh, we've got our actual safety itself which is a pin which actually holds components in place holds the beaver tail safety in place we've got our hammer and strut and you can see how that works together we've got your two click points on the 70 series here which interact with the sear engage with the sear so you when you feel that come back one click two clicks that's actually what it's doing and then the release and the hammer slides forward uh, when I set the firing pin aside, I should have showed you the firing pin stop. That slides over the top of it to keep it captive. Slides into the back of the slide. And then I'm getting down to the pieces here that get a little tricky. Of course, you've got your plungers, which is your slide stop plunger and your safety plunger. You've got a spring in the middle. Those ride into, you can see this part right here where it slides into. And kind of ingenious there. They made it kind of one it feels like one piece, it's actually three, uh, but counter opposing holds the force of that together. And I'm getting down here to the pins. So there's three different pins that come out of this gun. And let me show you what they are here. So first of all, you've got your mainspring housing pin, which goes in the bottom of your gun. And that's once you get your mainspring in and everything in order, of course, watch, watch a full assembly video to be sure that's going to go in. There's an indention in it because the mainspring itself sticks out a little bit through the bottom and that indention catches on it to hold the pin in place. My pin has a, an indent in the end of it also, and that always comes in the left side. You drive the rounded side in so it'll bump past the mainspring. Okay. 
We've got two more pins on this particular gun. Um, this Colt, this is a Colt. They almost look like they have nail heads on the end of them. You can see there's a little bit of a nail head effect on the end of each one of those. One is a little thicker diameter than the other, so you can't get them mixed up. There's two particular holes. The thinner one goes through the disconnect and the sear. The heavier one goes through the hammer. And there's holes in the frame. Let me just show you here. The front hole is for the disconnect and the sear pin. And then the hammer is next, the next hole. And then the third hole is where your safety goes in, which holds the beaver tail. Finally, last pieces can get a little confusing when they fall out. People get a little scared maybe, but this is your disconnect here. This rides, this little paddle on the bottom rides on the back of your hammer. You can see that wear point. You want to make sure there's no burrs. Don't remove metal, please. But it's okay to take burrs down. If I use like a 2500 grit sandpaper that rests on the back there and your trigger activates that. Your sear can only go in one way. It rests over, it goes over the top. Those two holes are they're different size here on purpose to give it the movement that it needs. But that goes over the top of your disconnect like that. It goes up into the back of the frame. There's a hole up in there that it has to fit in. See if you can see that hole up in there. There you go. It's got to slide in there. When we go to put it together, you can watch and see how that goes together. But just want to briefly show you, don't be worried when you get this out. It only goes in one way. And then your sear, of course, is what engages with your hammer. And as you engage your one click, two clicks, then you've got your sear and your hammer engagement. And that is all the components of this 1911 70 series. The 80 series has a few more parts for safety, um, but this is a 70 series. And now I'm going to reorganize myself, go back to my original video, and uh, see if I can put all this back together again. Thanks for watching.